Good morning. Happy Taraco Tuesday. I hear you. Red and Scarlet are saying good morning. Good morning, everybody. Missed you all. Good to be back. Are you coming over here? I'm supposed to come to you? Okay, I will. I will. Long way around. <laughs> oh, I hear a duck. Hi, ducks. Did they ever get their nest finished? No, they abandoned it again. <laughs> Yummy breakfast. We have to go find Taracos, but while wow, Rhett and Scarlet are showing us how they have breakfast, just say hi. Hi. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be back. Our trip to Illinois was good. It was just the right kind of cold. The puppy still does not have a name. No. But Nana's going to be trying out new names one at a time. It was a little overwhelming with so many people there. 
and a tiny puppy. It's hard to focus. So Nana will start trying out names more seriously. Trying out a different name every couple minutes wasn't exactly fruitful. We did have a great trip and we got back yesterday. All good flights all the way in. It was good. Missed you all. It's good to be home. Being gone is good though. Perspective is good. Seeing how fortunate we are to live here. Even if it is warm all the time. It's nice to get cool and it's nice to come home. No, it's not my puppy, it's Nana's puppy. Grandma's puppy. Look at that, Shadow on the move. Have we ever seen Shadow move so fast? Wow. We flew into Spring, well, we flew into Bloomington and then we were in Springfield and we did not do anything historic. I've been to the Lincoln Museum um, and we've done all that stuff before. This trip was all family. We did not do any touristing, but we went, we flew into Bloomington we went to Springfield and we went to Litchfield and then repeated that process. Springfield and then out from Bloomington. Okay, let's go look for Turacos. It's Turaco Tuesday. Oh, look at that little honey creeper right there. So much grape in his mouth. He's gotta hang out for a second. What does the flamingo actually eat? It's so that right there that they're eating now, it's called Flamingo Complete. It's shrimp, and vitamins and minerals, everything they need to stay healthy and colorful. Typically it would be broadcast into the water and they would filter it, but they um, don't like that. They prefer to eat it out of the bowl and then they go to the water and filter it after that. No, that puppy is Nana's puppy, so she's keeping it at her house. It'll come visit when Nana comes south. But for now, it's at home in Illinois. I bet next time we see it, it won't be puppy-like at all anymore. I feel like in the one day we were gone for the wedding, it grew two inches. What airline flies into Bloomington? Delta. That's why we made the trek to Bloomington instead of just flying directly into Springfield. American flies into Springfield, Delta into Bloomington. I'm sure there's other airlines, but we were, we're pretty loyal to Delta. It's that direct flight to Atlanta from Key West. Hi, Java Rice guys, what are you doing? Oh, looking to destroy something? Okay. Glad things never change. I see you. I see you. The puppy still doesn't have a name. Still trying out new ones. Pretty soon puppy's going to stick. I saw Oliver Longtail. 
Jill, we were, the live I did from Nana's backyard was to introduce you all to her new puppy that she'd only had for two days when we got there. We don't have a puppy. Nana has a puppy and we had a great time with all of the cousins enjoying playing with the puppy. There's Booger. And look at this, these baby quail are already getting their pin feathers. Their house hasn't been cleaned yet this morning. Look, they have their little pin feathers. All these, wow, look at that. There's one emerging right now whole bunch of paper kites that have just emerged. Look at that one right there. Just happening. Yeah, I took a video. Lacey says Booger could fool us for slow motion Saturday. Yeah, I took a video once of Booger. And so, someone said maybe Booger should be kept to photography, still photography rather than video. You can do it! One wing out, get the other wing out. hard work. Eventually, here in the next few minutes, it'll look like his friend right there has just emerged. Isn't that amazing? From that little chrysalis. Emerged that guy, and when his wings are all out and unfolded, it'll be big. The paper kite is quite large. There's one down here that's closer to being ready to fly. So many over here. It's a busy night. Oh, those lace swings. This guy's figuring out how to fly. The female pintail whita, all of her long tails mate, is hanging out in there.
and a java rice finch and freckles. Oh, and their lip all over long tail. There he is, trying to impress his lady. sticking way out of the feeder. How long after they emerge before they fly? It depends on each individual one. It's totally up to them, but usually a few hours. Turaco, we'll have to look up, but we have a turtle on Turtle Tuesday. Have Oliver and his missus ever had lady kiddos? Yes, they have. They have, I think, four last year. Nobody who's grown long tails, though, so I think they've all been females. Looking up in the sky, looking for a Turaco. Well, I see one. Mr. Maurice is right there. Oliver Longtail is a pintail white duck. Easier to say than to spell. Hey, Maurice. You know it's your day. Okay, I. You know. You just don't care. Okay. Turtle cares. Oh, turtle went away too. It's Tuesday. <laughs> There's one of the baby Goldians. Now we have Turaco talk. I hear you. I'll come back over there. Well, we got to hear Turaco voices on Tuesday. Do you open the windows to let the butterflies out or do you pick up each one? We pick up each one individually. There's a huge like air filtration system in there so when you open the doors it's kind of like a vacuum effect um, for the whole process so they can't really get out even when you open the door there's so such strong fans in there so we take each one out individually by hand how many butterflies get released into the conservatory each year? That's a good question. Um, we have to do the math. So on average, probably 400 a week, every week. That's what comes in in shipments. 
And then we have our own small breeding program. So, I don't know. Using my fingers and toes as math, I can say a lot. Have a good day, Kathy. See you next week. Another perfect morpho. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Thank you all for walking with me. It's good to be back. See you all tomorrow for Winged Wednesday. Have a great day. Thanks for everything. <laughs>